have here a faded out old document a perfect example of what many documents look like that you may inherit from relatives usually they're worse than this so this is not the worst example but this one is perfect for a, spe a specific function that I want to show you if you notice I'm going to zoom in the numbers and the letters in ink have faded and are fading process right here so this is not the solution so I'm bringing this shadow slider in there we go then I'm going to click OK I'm going to move over here now as you see the area that I thought was a 6 is indeed a 6 now in the layers palette you'll notice that we have the levels adjustment layer here okay and just in case you missed that again go right here click and hold here and choose levels okay and we're going to choose black color hit OK now what we can do is actually try to blur that text so with this color fill box checked or highlighted right here let's go to up in the menu filter blur Gaussian blur now let's bring it back just a little bit let's say point four before after before after looks photos which are reproduced in newsprint are the most difficult to work with in my toolbox I'm going to choose the history brush tool okay and I'm going to blur that Gaussian blur yeah, just blur it out. And then we're going to kind of distort it, stretch it there, because this is a shadow area on her lip, under her lip. And then I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit. Okay, let's push it up this way a little bit. Let's go turn this off, turn this on. Still not there, we're still gonna have to work it, but I'm gonna merge those two down. This tool is not a click drag tool, it's just like a click pull tool. Okay. Then you have to subtract from that selection within that hole. So, the way we do that, we go up here to the options bar and we choose subtract. 